Recently, we have had ex-disciples of T.B. Joshua sharing how they have been sexually abused, raped and tortured. One of them was Chloe. She was the sister of both Chris, which is a prophet at the Squan, and Ruth, the wife of Rasin, which is also a prophet of the Squan. This is Angelic. She is the wife of Chris, the prophet of Squan's brother. And she stood at the gates of the church and shout, You cannot come back! Yeah. Here you can see her face. Another was Rachel, who claimed that T.B. Joshua masturbated upon her. And now I have communicated with Rachel before. Uh, obviously, I will block the email because of her privacy. And I did reply her. I said, yes, you went to catch the Prince of Egypt with Rickard and Edward recently. Now, Rickard now is still a believer and follower of T.B. Joshua. But you can see, all have their own story. Which one will you choose to believe? One says is healed, one says is not healed. If truly you are spiritual enough, you do not need human witnesses. You will not accept human testimony. This is what Jesus said. Who knows a person's thought except their own spirit within them? So you will never know what is their motives, whether it is right or wrong. Whether from false motives of, or true, Christ is preached. Yes, T.B. Joshua preached the gospel based on the Holy Bible. But, like I said long ago, I think it is necessary for me to say this, staying under TB Joshua is good. But yeah. if you stay for more than a few years, it means you have failed the exam. The Pharisees were worshipping God through Moses. They built the temple, this is the law of Moses. Yet, Jesus Christ said, you still cannot enter the heaven. You are yeah. the child of the devil. What? Yes. They are Moses' disciples. The yes. man who rained down bread from heaven every day, spit the Red Sea and all that. Yes. If you are worshipping God through your Peter and Paul, through T.B. Joshua and all that, you cannot enter heaven. You must get connected directly to Jesus Christ. Christ died for you to receive the Holy Spirit and you are not utilising it. I think it is time to stop all these spiritual father and associations. We are done with associations. John the Baptist have no spiritual father nor association with any other man of God, yet he was the Elijah to come. But nowadays, we must see association. Who is your spiritual father? Your brother, if your follower is big, I come to stay with you. If he's not big, leave me. For how long are we going to act like fools? For how long are we going to just base our faith on other people's testimony, base our belief on what people can do on the outside. Remember, even the demonic fortune-telling girl can prophesy. Balaam, the wicked prophet, can also prophesy. And Simon, the sorcerer in the book of Acts, people claim that he is the power of God. I have also mentioned that deliverance is not all the time you need it. If a church is led by the Spirit of God, it will not pray for healing and blessing all the time. You have to ask yourself this question. If I go to Squan or something, will I manifest there? You now ask yourself, how many times have I been delivered? But I still need deliverance. It means it's not the demon. It is my understanding. The fact that Apostle Peter deny Christ three times does not mean he is possessed. But I tell you the truth is that I do not see any demon in you. And if you go to other ministries to seek your deliverance, the truth is you will still need to be delivered again. So which one is real? You be the judges. So this is what the Holy Spirit says. There is no demon in you. 
it is not possible to think that you have a demon in you and still think that you can go heaven. And you know that you can go heaven because that's what the scripture says. Which kind of ministry do you want? You want to just know the truth once and for all and you're free indeed, as the Bible say. Or you want every single week you receive your deliverance. The book of Romans say, Let all men be a liar, but God telling the truth. I've said it before, if you cannot deliver yourself, neither will you maintain your deliverance after you are delivered. Now it's like a show. Everything, everybody fall down. I have been to crusades before. If you truly can deliver, you will ask the evil spirit to go to the pigs and the pigs will visibly run down. But now you do not have the faith to do that. You can only make people fall down. This is what other religion is also doing. So what is different? On the outside. On the inside, you know. In the church business. Once that person is delivered, share the testimony. Next week, still need to be delivered again. For how long are we going to continue this kind of deliverance for the cameras only? When people come to me, I don't pray for any, I do not pray for everybody for deliverance. I know if I go to some of uh, their churches, they will now pray for me to be delivered because it's a culture. Everybody that come, you must be delivered. Okay, I, I don't know who you are, but you must confess you are now at my church. John the Baptist hesitated to pray for Jesus. You must recognize the spirit first before you do anything. It would be a sin for you to pray for an angel of God, disguised as a human being, or someone whose anointing is higher than you, but you go and pray for that person. My message to all the people is get connected to God directly. And to those who are traumatized, I want your faith not to be destroyed. But you must reach that level that if indeed T.B. Joshua is fake, you will still believe in Jesus because your faith is with the Father already. 90% they do not have a direct connection to God. If this man of God is fake, no, I, I, I'm done for. It means you do not have a personal relationship with God. A true servant of God will live a life like Jesus' life written in the Gospels. Jesus will not now hold a mic and then prophesy financial breakthrough for you, make you so happy eh, about living in the world. Church is all about money, watches, and all this. When will we stop this? The Lord told me that there's money coming for you and you have been waiting for a long time. But this year, 2024, you shall see money like you've never seen it before. Yes. I'm even seeing you in a Rolls Royce. Yes. I don't know why. Can I do what I was born to do? Do it. You, that are, you're hearing me, right? The same thing I prophesy to this person. It's the same for you. Can I prophesy? Shh. I didn't come here to try. I came here to perform and do. Do it. If yes. Yes, prophesy. A voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord. But now it's a voice of one crying out in the palace. I want big church buildings, then I believe. Is this not a wilderness? This room right now, speaking to you with a normal clothes? You can go on to the internet and search photos of pastor. You know, they wear watches on their left hand. So when taking photo, they will tilt a bit to the right side and show off their watch. This is Angela. She was a prophetess at the squad. She is following... This Jishun sings. Jishun sings has these kinds of songs. I hope that one is a mistake. If you see further, she is now like a property agent or some sort. 
listen, if you can only recognize a man of God simply because of his or her association with another man of God, you have failed in Christianity already. You can only recognize a man of God by the Spirit of Jesus in you. Nobody can be like Paul to rebuke Peter today. Nobody can, can be like Paul that when he received the Holy Spirit from Jesus, he did not consult anybody. I have not went to any churches in the whole world. I watched people's sermons on YouTube and I'm blessed by it. Whether they preach out of false or real motives, I don't know, but it's only God knows. I read the Bible here. I did not consult any man. And whenever I perform healings, as you can see on the crusades, I never exaggerate the healing. Example, the person need to wear a breathing mask. Even if that person is not required to wear a breathing mask, I still ask him to wear a breathing mask for the sake of the cameras. Uh, you know, you're a Christian, right? Let us help the faith of the unbeliever so they will see. No, God can fight for himself. I will never ask the person to bring a walking stick if she has a difficulty in walking. And then, but I still just ask the person to bring a walking stick. No. You shall not add nor subtract to the condition Jesus gave. Look, I have ministered to tens of thousands of people before. It is really them that is sharing their testimony. But afterwards, it is their own relationship with God. After Jesus healed the man, he said to him, See that you do not sin anymore. If not, something worse will happen to you. Think about it this way. Jesus raised Lazarus, the brother of Mary and Martha, from the dead, only for the Jews to want to kill Lazarus again. Because the Jews were wanting to kill Lazarus, because they were believing in Jesus because of him being raised from the dead. Whether Lazarus died after he was raised from the dead, we don't know. Yes, I do acknowledge myself as a prophet. As a gateway to Christ. But if we Christians are not the gateway to Christ, then we are not Christians. We show people the world who Christ is. Is this not the door to Christ? I, I have a person who asked me in my several years being in the ministry, the person asked me, Prophet, is there a way that I can ask you for an emergency prayer request and then you will faster reply me? I replied to the person, Man of God is not to pray for you in the event of an emergency. Man of God is to let you receive the Holy Spirit. And then you yourself ask the Holy Spirit to minister to you in the time of emergency. Bring people to the Holy Spirit. Jesus is not any other man. He is God in human form. I never take control of my followers. They can come and they live as they wish. Uh, this is an online ministry. Uh, how can I exploit them? It's not possible. I do not care whether I have a physical church building or not. And I do not care about followers. I have even just left my YouTube channel there because Jesus refused to get the 5,000 crowd. But now pastors today, they want the 5,000 crowd and crown them king. I do not want this. John called two of his disciples to him and sent them to the Lord. John the Baptist refer his followers as his disciples. But the main thing is, I direct you to Christ. When I was in Cameroon, I met a pastor. And the pastor just sit there and shout the name of his, of his evangelist. Collins... Collins and the evangelist. Look, look, that is calling you. 
Faster, faster. And then the pastor said, Why have you come late? You do not know I'm calling you. I was sitting beside him and I said in my heart, I feel sad for this evangelist. And I asked the evangelist privately, how long have you stayed here? He said, eight years. And I'm like, wait, you spent eight years under a man of God to serve him and your anointing is not even half of the apostles? All you can do is just to cast out some demons, uh, make people fall to the ground. And then next week, the person got a, a demon again. Who is the one that converted Paul? It is Jesus himself who is dead on earth. He do not need our help. Who is the one that converted Cornelius the centurion in the book of Acts? It is the angel of God himself. Truly, I tell you, we are helping ourselves instead. We pastors. Building our own name and church buildings. If we can do away with all this, prejudice would have come. I'm not going to make this video like I'm making a news just to get views. I have said it before that let other YouTube channels make Christian news just to get views for their YouTube channel. And they, they, and they think that they are making the gospel to reach out the more. But if they are coming to your channel because you make worldly news and then put some Bible verse to teach them, like Off the Curb Ministries, like Alan Parr, never judge a man of God's anointing by YouTube subscribers. I have a million YouTube subscribers. I celebrate. God is not mocked. The Pharisees have more followers than Jesus. People were coming to the Pharisees in the time of the Jewish festivals. Even Jesus himself go to Jerusalem. Listen, you pastors who can only do deliverance, it is not possible to just keep on saying, out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Fire, fire, fire. When will you seek the higher grace of God? You know there are nine gifts of the Holy Spirit. In fact, the gift of deliverance is not even one of them. There are the gifts of miracles, gift of prophesying, gift of this, gift of that. But now the miracle is only make people fall down. Seek the undeniable presence of God. Be like Samuel. Pray for the rain to fall. Be like Elijah. Command the fire of God to come down, to build up their faith. God can be found only if you put your faith in Him alone.